In today's presentation, we are going to learn how to classify slope according to its value. When we're done with today's lesson, you'll be able to identify slope by its picture as to whether it is positive, negative, zero, or undefined. Furthermore, when this lesson is over, you'll be able to explain mathematically how a slope is classified into one of those categories based on the value because you will be able to show the computation that arrives at either a positive, negative, zero, or undefined value. Let's begin by looking at four different set of axes and four different lines to classify their slope. This line has a positive slope. Notice its angle. If we move from left to right, going across our screen, we are going uphill. It leans to the right. Let's look at this blue line. This blue line has a negative slope. If we keep the same idea of moving from left to right, we can see that this blue line is going downhill. This orange line is a horizontal line. It's perfectly horizontal and its slope is zero. Finally, if we have a perfectly vertical up and down line, the slope of a vertical line is always undefined. In a few minutes, we will talk more about what it means to be undefined from a mathematical standpoint. Uh, but here you can see the four different possibilities for any line. Our red line, lines that look lean in that direction, will always have a positive slope. Lines like our blue line that lean in that direction will always have a negative slope. Horizontal lines like our orange line will always be a zero slope. And vertical lines like our green line will always have an undefined slope. Let's look at another way that we can remember the differences between a positive, negative, zero, and undefined slope. And since we're talking about slope, we're going to use a snow skier analogy. Let's begin by looking at our positive slope. If we put a skier on this slope and try to move from left to right, that skier is not going to be able to just go up that hill without putting any work to it. He's going to have to put energy into that, either walking himself up, shuffling himself up, or taking the ski lift. Either way, it's going to take a positive input of energy for him to go up this hill. Now let's look at the negative slope and put a skier on this mountain. If we put a skier on this slope and try to go from left to right, he's very easily going to just shoosh down that hill and not have to do any work into that. That's going to be a negative energy input. That is a negative slope. Let's continue to move along and let's look at our zero slope. If we put a skier on this slope and try to move from left to right, He's not going anywhere. There is a zero slope. Those skis are not going to move. And finally, let's look at an undefined slope and put a skier on that and see if we can find a way to help us remember how that's going to work. If we put a skier on that slope, he's going to come down that thing so fast because it's straight up and down and vertical he's going to be undefined when he gets to the bottom. That's how you can remember that a vertical slope, a vertical line, has an undefined slope. 